A lot of people is gonna be broke by the end of Broktober. Yeah, Broktober is gonna be the biggest amount of third-party games on a Nintendo home console in years. But two big RPGs is beyond the horizon, one first party and another third party game. If you had $60 and you're saving for one big RPG, which game would you choose to get? You know what I'm getting with this, if you read this title. This is TalkGamer007 and I'm gonna tell you which game have the right to your wallet, Skyrim or Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And let's get started. Let's start with everyone's favorite game, the game that everyone wants to buy, one of the biggest games of 2011, the prime of Western RPGs. Some say it's one of the best games of all time, the war to winning Skyrim. Skyrim is one of the most expensive games of all time. You will definitely fall in this game for hundreds of hours. And I, even I didn't finish this game at all, not even close. At this time, being honest as a Nintendo fan, I never got into Skyrim because I had a Wii. And at the time, I was playing Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And when I did play the game, it was like three years later on PC. But I only spent like 15 hours. So I thought on the Switch would be the best time to play Skyrim. You could play Skyrim anywhere you want. And this is probably the best time to play Skyrim because you could be in your bed playing it. You could go outside and play Skyrim. And it's such a huge world. This is like the perfect device to play any open world game in my opinion. Or any RPG. If you're interested, Skyrim looks like the special edition but a little turned down a little bit of graphics. And it looks amazing. And you could bring that anywhere you want. That's a big plus and the game also comes with all the DLCs from the other versions and Skyrim have motion controls for some reason I understand if you want to move your hand like uh, with bow aiming like Breath of the Wild but some weird motion controls are intimented in this game like 2009 weird like you could swing your sword and protect yourself with your shield like, who wants to play that in 2017? Like, that's 20 and 20, 2009 motion control stuff. Like, we don't need all of that. And this is the biggest uh, fault for me because I never played Skyrim without mods before. But it's no mod support. So that's a big shot down for me. Mods for Skyrim was the best thing about Skyrim. And without mods, Skyrim is just going to be an okay open world game with little baby okay story. I don't think uh, Skyrim has that story thing like Witcher and stuff. In my opinion, the point of the internet is to have opinions, so please don't hate me for this. And now you're going to tell me that Skyrim have mods, I know. You're going to tell me that like that one mod that, that um, the main character wear that Link costume and the Hylian shield and, and we... Don't forget about the Master Sword, that's a mod. I don't care, you know what's a real mod. Mods like Thomas the Dragon, the Forgotten City, and 2K Textures. <laughs> Just thinking about it. Just saying that, all those mods, now I know why it'd be hard to be on the Switch because, man, 2K Textures on the Switch. Just imagine that beautifulness anywhere you want. But it's just, I almost, well, let's move on and I almost forgot the, the game also have amiibo support and you can unlock these um, Zelda Zelda chest chests with the amiibos and don't forget this game this is the biggest fault in my opinion in the whole thing this game is $60 on the Nintendo Switch a five-year-old game so keep that in mind let's move on to sequel on the other 2011 or 2012 depending on the region RPG that's kind of open world but not really isn't Eastern or JRPG yes Xenoblade Chronicles 2 the original Xenoblade Chronicles was a underdog masterpiece because no one really heard about Xenoblade Chronicles till Shulk was announced for Smash Bros let's be honest like 10 or 2 20,000 people knew and that's it in the United States well uh, let's just like move on it's my favorite game on the Nintendo Wii. 
when they announced Xenoblade Chronicles X, I was extremely happy. I was excited because this is going to be the sequel of the masterpiece, and I waited two years. And then it released in December of 2015, I believe, and I played like 150 hours, and I finally realized it's not the sequel I was looking for. I love the world of Xenoblade Chronicles X, but it's something that... that Xenoblade Chronicles X lacked that the original had, and that's story and characters. And Xenoblade Chronicles X was had that exploration and improved battle system and the world, and of course that graphics. That was a huge step up. That's the best, one of the best things about Xenoblade Chronicles X. That's a huge step up from the original. And the original Xenoblade Chronicles was like a masterpiece, but those graphics, the graphics was like, <gasps> oh my, but. Let's put it. Let's put it in one game. Let's put one game and completely make a masterpiece again. That's what I hope Xenoblade Chronicles um, 2 is like. Everything that Xenoblade Chronicles X and the original Xenoblade Chronicles had, and it's together and make a masterpiece. Xenoblade series return with a updated battle system with the most complexity in combat in the series to date the series return with the anime art style i love games with the anime art style and the story had the potential to ha be the best story in the series and just remember before i get hate remember i said potentially we don't know what the story is or What's going to be the story until we get our hands on the game on December 1st. And I hope Xenoblade Chronicles 2 earned that 2 after the original Xenoblade Chronicles because Xenoblade Chronicles was a masterpiece. And to be the second to this masterpiece, you need to be better than the original or come close. Because Xenoblade Chronicles X, I know that they don't have the number 2 next to it, but it's not a sequel. Completely not. It has exploration, it expanded on the combat, um, and the stories and everything. It's like cut down to like zero, almost zero. Like, I didn't really like this story for Xenoblade Chronicles X. It's just the world I love. And to have Xenoblade Chronicles like a two next after Xenoblade Chronicles, I hope the development team of Monolith Saw knows they have a huge responsibility to keep the Xenoblade Chronicles name to like the top standards. And the second game needs to be that top game. So let's wrap this up. Skyrim is a game that many Nintendo fans never got to play fully, such as myself. And it's a great opportunity if you never played Skyrim before. But just remember, it's a five-year-old game. It's not worth $60. Even if it comes with all the DLC and the new motion controls and the, the three pieces of mods, it's not. It's not, I'm sorry, worth $60. It's worth $40, in my opinion. Even if you get hundreds of hours, and that's like an excuse, like, it's worth a lot of money because you get hundreds of hours. You'd be spending days in there. But it doesn't matter, it's a five-year-old game. It's $40. And Xenoblade Chronicles 2 had the potential to be the best RPG in years with a semi-open world. It have a potential to be the greatest story in the Xenoblade Chronicles franchise. Because I don't want to say Xeno franchise. I don't know about Xeno Saga that much. And I know this for a 100% fact. Almost 100% fact. That means 99.9% .9 fact. That it will have better combat than Xenoblade Chronicles X and the original. Even if we don't have Shulk's time powers. And the only negative I could ever think, and it's a really small chance, um, it's a really small chance this will ever happen, and that's if Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is a bad game, but I don't think that will ever happen because Nintendo knows if it's a bad game. They wouldn't have a special edition and, and the Pro Control, please Nintendo don't do this to me, but be realistic, a model of soft made this game, no game they ever made could ever be worse than Xenoblade Chronicles X and Xenoblade Chronicles X was not a bad game I love that game it's just the story needs some work made by this developer you should know the game is gonna be quality now I gave you the ups and downs for each game now I'm gonna be telling you which game is worth your wallet if you want 
a Western RPG and you never played Skyrim and you were stuck on the Wii like I was, get Skyrim. If you are a fan of JRPGs or Eastern RPGs, you want to play the sequel of the one of the best games on the Wii that no one really played. Get Xenoblade Chronicles 2 for sure. Wait, wait. Do you want to know my opinion for this? <laughs> of course you do. You clicked on the video so you can get my opinion of which game to get, obviously. In my opinion, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is the game I would choose over because obviously it's a new game that I cannot play anywhere else except Nintendo, a Nintendo system because I don't know if the next Nintendo system might port this over or a handheld version of it in the future. So I'm going to say Nintendo system and also I have faith in my lips off that they could make a game, a Xenoblade game that reached the original game or surpass the original Xenoblade Chronicles. Man, just look at the graphics. This is covered the person that played the original Xenoblade Chronicles. Look at the graphics compared to the original. Oh my god, this is this is amazing. This is like perfect. I have faith in this game. So yes, it's about time to end my video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if like videos like this one. This is Todd Gamer 007. And I see you in the future video. Peace.